Aloha and welcome, welcome, welcome. This is all the welcoming prayer. So I invite you to come here in this place and time to settle yourself in for the welcoming prayer. The welcoming prayer is a practice and it's a practice that allows us to invite God's presence and action in our lives in the moment. Centering prayer is a practice that has us in stillness and quiet. Welcoming prayer, on the other hand, can be done with moving. For me, it's easier to do it with a bit of movement to feel and sink into the body. And for me to be able to clear the unconscious obstacles from my mind, the movement and feeling and sinking into my body with actual tactile touching my body helps for me. So as I lead you today, I'm going to do it with a little bit of movement, which you are welcome to join me in, or you are welcome to just be still, whatever is perfect for you. You could do this standing, sitting, lying down, whatever is perfect for you. You've come to this time and place today. You've chosen to be here. Whether it's morning or night or the middle of the day, you've had stuff happen before you got here today. You had a life already today. So I invite you that if you want to move a little, move a little bit and shake off whatever you might have. Or perhaps you've already been meditating and sitting and being in this place and time. Maybe you've had several sessions of meditation or sitting or centering prayer. We call it centering prayer, right? Meditation's not the right word. Centering prayer. Um, whatever it is for you right now where you have come into this place, I welcome you to feel and sink into your body. As you feel and sink into your body, perhaps just a bit of feeling and sinking into the body actually noticing the parts of your body where you are in, in space and time wherever you are and whenever you are welcome 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 the purpose of centering prayer is it's, it's not to experience peace but to clear out those unconscious obstacles that are keeping us from being able to connect to God and the welcoming prayer is one of the tools that really works for me to be able to do that. So to feel and sink into the body. So taking a little scan, maybe your eyes are closed, maybe you're standing and tapping yourself, whatever it might be, feel and sink into the body and notice where in the body your attention goes. Where in the body does your attention go? Feel and sink into that place in the body, wherever it might be. And wiggling that part of the body a little might help you, or perhaps tapping it or touching it with your hand might help, or maybe it is your hand. Wherever that might be, feel and sink into that place. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome all that you're feeling. Saying the words out loud, welcome, welcome, welcome. For me, it's helpful to hear it, to see it, to say it, all of those things. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And to move it also, for me, is helpful. When I have a moment in the day that I need this connection to the divine indwelling in that moment to feel and sink into the body. It's usually I'm in my head. I'm, I'm thinking so much that to feel and sink into the body is a challenge. So for me, a little bit of wiggle in the body, connecting the heart, the mind, the now, 
the thought, the emotions, and that feeling, that place right now where your attention has gone. Feeling them all connect and welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcoming the divine indwelling, the indwelling present, the divine spirit. Welcome, welcome. And as we welcome what we are feeling, welcoming the sensations, welcoming the divine indwelling, then we let go. I let go of my desire for security, affection, and control, and embrace this moment as it is. This moment. Embrace this moment as it is. embrace. Oftentimes for me when I'm in a place where I'm trying to, to practice the welcoming prayer, embracing this moment as it is, is the hardest part for me to be in this moment and actually embracing, the actual act of embracing for just a moment helps for me. So if I've had an incident that's happened and I breathe in acceptance and I'm breathing out surrender, I'm breathing in to feel and sink into the body, to welcome all that I'm feeling, welcoming the divine indwelling and to let go, I might just embrace myself ever so slightly in a way that's not very obvious to anyone else, but it's very clear to me that I'm being embraced in this moment as it is. Feeling and sinking in, welcome and let go. The divine indwelling, the indwelling presence. I let go of the desire for security, affection and control and embrace this moment as it is. To feel and sink in. By feeling and sinking in, I'm allowing the obstacles between me and the divine indwelling, I'm allowing them to be released. And I'm consenting to the divine presence, the divine indwelling's presence and action in my life, in this time and this place. whenever we are, wherever we are, in this time and place. So take a moment and closing your eyes, feeling and sinking into the body, coming from your feet, perhaps they're on the ground, you can connect to the divine in the ground, that divine grounded presence. If they're not on the ground, imagine that connection. And the feet and the ankles coming up the shins and the knees, the legs and the hips. Noticing where does your attention go? Maybe a memory comes up. Feeling a sensation and energy. Just notice and welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcoming the divine indwelling and indwelling presence. So we come up to the torso, and the ow is the place between the rib cage and the navel. In the Hawaiian culture, this is where our thoughts and our emotions are, are experienced. For me, this is a place I often experience thoughts and emotions. And I feel and sink into that place. Brings up memories for me, energy, sensation. And maybe another place for you 
maybe the sides of the back, perhaps what you're sitting on, whatever it might be, coming up the torso, the heart space, the clavicle, the shoulders, the arms, the forearms, the triceps, the biceps, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers, the hands. Feel and sink in. Welcome all that you're feeling, welcoming the divine indwelling and letting go. Letting go of any obstacles. Welcoming the divine indwelling. I let go of my desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is. As you come up the body to the throat, the neck, the head, maybe you move it a bit to feel and sink in, the shoulders, letting the body feel and sink in. Whether you're entering into the beginning of your day or coming to the end of your day, whatever it might be for you in this time and place, feeling and sinking into all that the body is telling you, this incredible vessel, we are given this gift. Feel and sink in and welcome all that you're feeling. Welcoming the divine indwelling, the presence. Welcoming the breath itself, the spirit divine. And letting go. I let go of my desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is. Feel and sink in. And as you feel and sink in, whisper to yourself, under your breath or perhaps out loud, to feel and sink in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And let go. I let go of my desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is. And take the time to feel and sink in and repeat these words for yourself. I've placed them on the screen if you need them. You can read them on the screen, but I invite you to just take some moments in your quiet to feel and sink in, welcome and let go, and re repeat this prayer for yourself. Feel and sink in. Allow your attention to wander throughout your body and notice 
Where does your attention go? And when your attention has settled into a place in your being, just notice the feeling, sensations, memories, thoughts, energies, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Let go. I let go of my desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is. Welcome, welcome. And I invite you to take a time to just think of a moment. And perhaps it's a moment that actually happened or something you're anticipating or, but it's in you, it's in you right now. It comes right to the forefront when I say, think of a moment where the practice of the welcoming prayer is exactly what you want to bring in. And you have taken this time to practice the welcoming prayer, to embody it totally into your body. And now take this time to embrace the practice of the welcoming prayer on the breath. Breathing in acceptance, welcoming, welcome the divine indwelling, exhaling surrender, or perhaps there's a single word for you that brings you back to this place of the welcoming prayer. For me, it's welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I've had many obstacles this last week that have come between me and God over and over and over. But most of which I've put in there myself. I've created these or I've taken an experience that's happened in my life and I've focused on it so much that it's become this, this stumbling block, this separation between me and the divine indwelling. In this practice of the welcoming prayer is to allow that to let go. Allowing for God's presence and action in your life, consenting to God's presence and action in your life, and embracing this moment as it is. Embracing, embracing, embracing this moment as it is. And now we're going to settle into some time of silence, God's favorite language. And in the time of silence, in the welcoming prayer practice, the first guideline is to Make yourself comfortable, and so if you need to wiggle again a bit or take a sip of water, whatever it is to bring yourself back into this presence, comfort, the centering prayer time. You have a, a sacred word, a simple word, and this word is a symbol of God's presence and action in your life. It's a symbol. The word, whatever the word is, it's a word that you chose, a word that with kindness and gentleness, you can return to the word 
ever so gently when your mind wanders, thoughts, smells, sounds, whatever might be distracting for you, maybe the temperature of the room, whatever it is, there's distractions. And then we bring ourselves using that word ever so gently back into the divine presence, allowing the obstacles to slip away. And at the end of our time, there will be bells and there will be prayer and we will have time to share prayers for the community.